Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a base bath, which is commonly used to clean glassware, especially the glass that has stubborn organic residue and other stuff on it. It's a mixture of alcohol. This one's isopropyl alcohol, but it's also possible to use like methanol or ethanol. I just got isopropyl because it's pretty cheap to get a high percentage of it, and methanol is a little bit toxic and I didn't really want that sitting around. And then other than that, we have lye crystals, uh, just sodium hydroxide drain cleaner, and the third component is water. So here I have three liters, which I'm going to add to this bucket here. It's distilled water and not just tap water. Tap water could probably be used, but distilled is generally better when you do uh, make things like base baths and other stuff like that. So after this, we have three liters, and now we have to mix in what was it? 600 grams of sodium hydroxide. So I have my scale here, and I'll just measure out roughly 600 grams. It doesn't really matter if it's that accurate. And when we add it to the water, it's going to be exothermic, meaning it's going to generate heat. And because of that, we have to add it slowly. We can't all just dump it in at once. I mean, we could, but I don't really want to risk melting this plastic. So I'm going to sprinkle in you know, about half of it. And then use this spoon to mix it up. So I'll add the second half. It didn't get too hot here. So now we just leave it for now and wait till it cools down to room temperature because we can't add it to the alcohol directly like this. Otherwise, if it is hot enough, it might boil it and, I mean, or would at least make the alcohol quite hot, which would increase the vapor pressure. It's not something we really want. So we're going to leave this for something like, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes and wait for it to cool down. Okay, so we're back now. It's been like... 30 minutes or an hour or so. It's still kind of warm, but as long as it's not hot to the touch, that's good enough. So now I'll just move this aside for a second. I've got to get the bigger bin that we're actually going to be making the base bath in. And, oops. and now we have to add all of the isopropyl alcohol to it. In theory, you can do it the other way around. There's not really a huge problem. You just usually want to add the base to the alcohol just to prevent uh, some splashing and stuff. So anyway, I'll just start adding it all. Ugh. Oh no. This is going to take forever. This was just, I just got this at Walmart. It turned out to be apparently almost the same price as buying it in bulk somehow. At least in, from the terrible sources that I found it at. Okay, so now we're ready to add the base to it. And this has to be done carefully to avoid splashing, but there's always almost going to be some splashing anyway. So, now we just add this in. Okay, air force X, that still has strong base in it. Stir this around. And... That's it. So, it's basically done. Just have to get the lid for it. Which is, uh... nowhere to be found. I'll be back. <laughs> Do that. Cover it. Generally when you get buckets like this or containers, you want to have one that seals decently well so that the, uh, the vapors don't escape. They're going to escape a little bit to a certain degree, but that's just, that's just the reality of it. Um, here I'm going to get some tape. Ah, oh, perfect. Flawless. Now, that's about it. If we want, we can add some glass for it that we want clean to it. Just gotta drop it in. Some people recommend to use tongs, but just be careful and don't put your hand in it. Okay, so that's put in. Shut it. Once I touch the base bath, of course you can take the gloves off. 
And that's about it. Base bath complete. <laughs> Done.